Welcome to my channel. King Vic. King Vic. So we're doing a mukbang today uh, featuring my girlfriend Victoria. Actually a Q&A, right? Yeah, so with the mukbang on my Instagram, I sent a little message on my story and you guys are asking us questions. So we'll mm -hmm. answer that, but I think you wanted to kind of talk about why... I started this mm -hmm. channel and all that, like my fitness journey, the reason behind it. Okay. So, and we also got in and out I'm cutting mine up because I don't usually cut my burgers up, but it's because I got my lips done and I just don't know how to act. Do you want to start with the question first or? How about like we'll start with what I, why yeah, I'm... Like why? Ooh, what's your why? What's my why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the reason why I started this is is because everybody in my family's fit. Like I was, I said that in my previous Mm -hmm. Video. Everyone's fit. She's fit. She's super fit. My my brother's super fit. My brother's wife is fit. And we all live together. And then there's me. I'm not fit. Baby. It's not. I'm not like mad about it. I, I just want. I just want to change. Mm -hmm. I just want to change. Another thing. I would work out. I used to work. I work. I worked out like. You work out all the time. At least four or five times a, a week. The only thing that I had trouble with is food. Yeah. I overeat. As we're I I would eat out. like <laughs> yeah, but I would eat like three, two, three times, and I would just eat a lot, a lot of it. So I would work out, but I wouldn't see any progress because the food I'm eating. Yeah. But now, of course, I'm eating in and out right now, but it fits my macros, so I'm still within my calorie intake for the day. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into some questions. Okay. A lot of people are asking... Can I read one first? Yeah, of course. Are you Asian? Mm. No. She's not Asian. What are you? Um, my dad is Nicaraguan, so Hispanic. And then my mom, we actually found out that she's Lithuanian and Polish. Because she did the 21 in me. But, where was she? but she was born in Ireland. Yeah, she's born in Ireland. So she has a little bit of Irish in her. Hey! Okay, great. I'm pretty much Hispanic and white. Yeah, I am not Asian. <laughs> how did we meet? Do you want me? How about I, you? I'll answer, answer that one. So this was two and a half years ago. Yeah. My brother used to have a clothing brand. My brother and my nephew, a fitness clothing brand, and they asked her to be a model. They'd always tag her, so I would always see her. I just didn't try anything because I didn't want to mess up the relationship they had. It would be awkward if she denied me. All that, all that so stuff. He had his eyes on me. <laughs> so I, I thought she was hot. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm like, I'm not gonna hit her up just because I don't want, I don't want that drama between them. Once she wasn't modeling for them anymore, mm -hmm. then that's when I, I slid in her DMs. Yeah. And I, I just asked her to go out with me, like to have dinner. Do you want me to tell you that one? Sure. Okay. So um, our first date. Um, where was it? Okay, it was, Chops. so he picked me up and we went to get sushi at Chomps in Fullerton. Should I talk about the first date? Okay, so honestly, this is when I knew like this guy was the one for me. <laughs> um, so he took me to get sushi and then we went bowling and then right after we went to get ice cream and it just felt like such like a cute high school date. And it was just so nice. It just made me feel like, or it made me feel so young again. And it was just so sweet. I loved it. Yeah. So when I met Victor, it changed everything. <laughs> I fell in love. I just <laughs> hey, I had to, I had to do some. It was so cute though. I yeah. love it. I was smooth. Real smooth. But yeah. oh my god, guys, he would not shut up was during the nervous. first date. Oh my gosh, I ate like all my food and I was like picking off of his plate on his, on our first date. Um, and yeah, you like couldn't stop talking. But it was really good because I was so shy. I'm such a shy person. So it made it so comfortable. Honestly, you know? I'm not I even gonna lie. So shy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I talk a lot. Mm-hmm. And when I'm nervous, I talk even more. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't even able to put in a word, <laughs> even if she wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, I weigh 145, I'd say, is a good number. Because I'll fluctuate, I'll go like 42, 43, 45. Like, those are my numbers. 
But, but, you, but you're around 145. Yeah, 145. But I am, my goal is to um, gain weight. I'm trying to like... Get, trying to get thick, thick. Yeah. But it's hard, oh my god. So her goals, obviously she's trying to gain weight. Yeah, so they're completely different from his. So sometimes it's a little hard because I'm eating good and I just got to stay on the right track. Well, I just started to be honest. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I would mean, eat you, good too. You go through some waves. Yeah, but the reason why I started this is so I don't go through those anymore. So they can, mm -hmm. so just so I can, you guys can like keep me accountable. But <clears throat> yeah, so she, you're trying to be like 155, mm -hmm. 10 pounds. 10 pounds of muscle is a lot of weight, a lot of muscle. Mm -hmm. But she's trying to get thick and all in her, you know. In my booty area. <laughs> you know, thick thighs save lives. I'm trying to choke you out. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> First impression of each other. Or oh, like, wait, okay, wait. It's different right now because, like, you have social media and you could, like, stalk someone. So, I guess that's your first impression. That's my first impression, I would say. Would, like, I would... So, he DM'd me and then we were, we were like, texting because I gave him my number. <laughs> so, I gave him my number and I remember, like, I didn't message you for a while. Yo. Like, I, I was ready to red. give up. He was ready to give up. So, I sent her a text. Two days passed. Still no reply. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna send her another one. I sent her another one. He double texted me. I was like, he's the one. And then, she still has not replied for another couple, three, four, I don't know, a week. So, then I'm like, okay. I'm gonna send this last text. If she does not reply, I'm moving on. <laughs> That's literally what I, what I was thinking. Yeah. And so I sent her that text. Yeah, and then I and replied. And then the next note, you replied. I replied right away. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Because you replied to me like at 4 or 5 in the morning because you were on your way to Vegas. No, it wasn't. It was during the day. Oh. But yeah, it was like I was on my way to Vegas with my two f girlfriends. And then I texted him on the way. I was like, I need something to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I was interested. I was just like nervous to date. You know, like it's scary dating, bro. <laughs> It's a lot different nowadays. Yeah. But anyway, my first impression was like, I was trying to go through his Instagram mm -hmm. when we set up a date. Like, we set up to go on a date, and I was like, okay, what does he look like? You know, like, I was just trying to get a little feel, maybe get your personality. Like, I don't know. The reason why is because I was always wearing sunglasses. Yeah, and it was hard to get a first impression. I was like, what does he freaking look like? Because he's wearing a hat and sunglasses in every single picture. Like, I'm, am I gonna get catfish? I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that's, it was just, that was my first impression was that like, thing he wears sunglasses in every picture. And then when I saw him for the first time, when he picked me up for the first date, he was like standing outside the car with the car door open for me. And I was like, Some no, movie shit. nobody fucking did that for me. Some movie shit. Yeah, Some romantic so, movie shit. It was so romantic. Yeah. What was your first impression of me? Oh shoot. Okay, Instagram or in person? Or both. I saw her Instagram and I'm like, that she's fine. Like, <laughs> that's it. Like, she's fine. Mm -hmm. Like, trying to get at that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, once we were on our first date, I was standing outside the car. And she was walking and I was like, yep, she's fine. But you know what? I didn't make a move for like the first two dates. Three. Two. At least three. Two. Well, the third date, I think that's when he kissed me. Yeah. But I think that's what made her, you know, fall in love. What I really, was. like, respect. He respected me. He was so sweet. I was feeling young again. Alright, this is a good one. What is your biggest goal as a couple? The main goal for us is just to put ourselves in a better position than when we were in 2019. If that makes sense. Like, we want to cut out bad habits that we have. As in, like... Like, not prioritizing um, stuff that's important to improve our life. But I want to prioritize, like, doing things that's going to improve us as a couple. Mm. Like, I just want us to be both on the same page, same hustle. Not, like, same same exact goal. But I, I want us to be in the same hustle. Yeah. Like, that's my goal. Mm -hmm. It's, like, us to match each other's hustle. If I see Victor doing better, I want to be like, I'm going to do better too. Like, we're going to do this together. And vice versa. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I feel like... Okay, she nailed it, first of all. Yeah. 
I guess that was it, just matching hustle. Matching the hustle? Yeah, that's I a guess, big one. Yeah, I guess that that's for me too. For 2020, just be better. Mm -hmm. Like with each other as far as communication. <clears throat> Our communication is good, but mm -hmm. it can be better. Yeah. Um, I, I, under, I, like, under, like, I need to understand more. Mm -hmm. Honestly, there's a lot. Just, there's so much. There's because, a lot. Like, there's always room for improvement. Victor has goals and I'm big ones. Big goals. And I'm not going to like sit here and not help him. Like I want to help him in every way that I can. So <clears throat> she helps me like a lot, but I also help her a lot. Oh my gosh, a hundred percent. Like I am always behind the scenes in everything she does. Yeah, like like literally every, everything. Almost every single picture I've ever taken or taken on my Instagram is Victor. Like, and he pushes me to post every single day. Like, he is literally my biggest fan. Like, he has my back with everything. He supports me with everything. So, it's just like, my goals is his goals, I feel. Right? Like, I think you prioritize my goals and I prioritize his goals, you know? I think, yeah, just in general. So. This year, we're gonna prioritize each other's goals. Like, that's yeah. a big thing. Yo, Roy literally said, you guys should have a drunk Q&A. Fun fact, I've never been drunk. Mm -hmm. Ever. Are you the big spoon or a little spoon? Honestly, most nights I'm a big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, nah. Well, I, yeah, like, he'll tell me, like, babe, like, I'm gonna hug you. But then Victor gets irritated, like he doesn't like staying in that position. And I love to be warm, so I'm gonna go behind him and like cuddle next to him. I'm gonna be the big spoon. <laughs> She's only the big spoon when I am frustrated in the position that, that I'm in. So I move and she feels like she should move with me. Like, yo, I'm literally trying to move. Away from you. Because I am not comfortable. How old are you? You have to know. I am 28 and she is 21. Just kidding. 25. She's 25. I'm old. <laughs> She's 25. I met her at 23. I know. How cute. That wraps it up for this video. Um, if you guys like it, share, subscribe, and like it. Better support my man. <laughs> All right. Subscribe. So there's gonna be a lot more. I'm gonna do daily content. This is gonna be every day. He's gonna try his best. Monday through whatever. Friday. Monday through Friday. Off on the weekend. I'm off on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. Peace. Peace. <laughs> All right.